welcome to the Riverbone News. We at Riverbone Productions remain committed to the idea that one can be responsible and still let loose, which is why we go kayak. So to that end, we're developing a new format to further enhance our vision. Ah! Ah! Last couple of years, we've been growing our own chickens and raising our own gardens and kids and canning what we can. Because see-through kayaking, we've learned self-sufficiency and we hunt and preserve the foods which we are blessed. Love to fire up the smoker. Can't have enough of that cue. So I'm about to order here at the world famous Neely's Barbecue in Memphis, Tennessee. And being a Q fanatic like I am, you know I am. Um, well, I'm already salivating, ready for this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. I can't wait. Ow! Mmm. Then it's back to the river. Now kayaking always lends itself to good family and friends and some picking on the porch. And remember, it's all about the love, L-O-V-E. And kayaking, like music and dancing, is a great way to tap into that greater flow. We want to encourage y'all to support the ongoing efforts of the North Alabama Whitewater Festival. Thank you, thank you. And don't forget to give Jeremy a hand while you're down there. He's doing a great job with all the bands and events. We can't forget our boater chicks. Yeah, Riverbone Productions had the honor of providing food and entertainment for the ladies last year and hopefully they were all serviced well you gotta love it when the guys service the ladies don't forget butter chick fest is all about having multiple clinics of different levels for you ladies so come on down have yourself a good time and get your float on Part of our ongoing efforts to help others has me, the Reverend Zachary T. in nursing school. And we're launching a new series of how to be unconventionally prepared in unconventional situations. And I came down to Tallulah and we're standing out with a bunch of friends at a beautiful place. And uh, as I was listening to that song, I looked up to the Lord above and I said, hey man, thanks. Here's our brave crew of illustrious pirates. You ready for this first drop here? You just boof off the middle there. Oh, the power of the Tallulah. Two thousand foot gorge replete with cliffed walls and a fifty foot drop. A good friend of mine, Patrick, taking the middle line. Yeah, so a group of us came down here one day and we were enjoying the sun and the cool water of this river. Everybody was having a good time. And this is a story how all of a sudden things can go wrong. So that what? did this. What initially we thought was a sprained ankle turned out to be a crushed foot.
Now, the moral of this story is twofold. One, be prepared. Second of all, work together and don't freak out. Luckily, our friend Patrick, who is a wilderness first responder, and I suggest all of y'all do some sort of advanced first aid training. Well, Patrick was there and he wrapped up the ankle as well as we could with what we had. I have now fleshed out my first aid kit that I bring along on all paddling trips. It consists of a SAM splint, an ACE bandage with which to wrap, and of course, layers, water, and food. Now, like I said, we all worked together and extracted this young lady from the bottom of Oceana, not up the 50-foot rapid, not up the next rapid, but up three rapids back to the stairs. Because someone had brought a cell phone, the fire department was there at the stairs with a chair and extracted her the rest of the way. So we took her, ourselves, all of our gear and boats from the bottom of Oceana up to the top. Man, it's good to be alive. <laughs>